What's up guys, Polly Popo here. Thank you very much for coming to the channel. Uh, just wanted to make some music today. I'm not going to do any tutorial or anything. I might explain what I'm doing, but uh, I just want to have fun today. Kind of just let loose. Um, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to use ambient piano. And I just happen to like this piano sound. And I'm going to make a sample with it and then we're going to lay drums on top of it. Chop it up and... I think this is a really cool way to be able to get your own samples into the MPC. And I can't stress enough to sample your own sounds. Go to a guitar center, go to a music shop, and uh, fuck, offer to sweep the floor. I don't know, dude. Just get one of their synths and plug it in and sample the sounds because the sounds they provide in here are really, really nice. But when you start incorporating your own sounds and your own sequences, everything that I've shown you on here yeah you know everybody can do because they have the same packs but if you incorporate your own sounds with that workflow man that's what it's all about that's really really dope let's make a clean sample here and then when we chop it up we'll see what happens maybe i'll add bass or whatnot but i have no idea what i'm doing right now um but i do know that i want to make a sample so that's what we're going to do see i'm going to transpose this here real quick because i seem to play the same keys but different type of sample so here we go what I'm trying to do is like when I'm listening to a record I want to hear that quiet part just a little bitty snippet right I'm learning that less is more and it sucks as I like to put a lot. I got a lot going on, but I gotta slow it down. So here we go. That sounds pretty clean, actually. I think I'm going to leave that. Be looking at my tens and shit back there, guys. <laughs> Stop it. Just two notes. You know what we could do is copy this track and add a different sound. Let's so check it. Let's see if we can get get something going on. That sounds dope. Let's do it again. Let's add some OPX. So it's kind of playing the same thing, but it ties it in together really, really cool. All right, I don't want to add too much because I don't want to. I don't want to mess a sample up. I don't want to mess a sample. It's not the song. This is the sample for the song. So let's chop this up. Should I add something else? <laughs> Yeah, let's add something else. Add something not the same. Add some strings. If we can 
find some decent strings. It's like I get tired of the same sounds in here. They're dope, don't get me wrong, but when you get your own sounds, is more dope. What's Selena? Is that strings? This is dope. Let's check it out. That's not dope. That's there. I just want it in the background. I don't like Selena. Why would I add a sound if I didn't like it? Just add cell phone or whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah, cell phone. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right. So we're going to go. <laughs> um, let's do the sample edit or sampler. I'm going to resample this for 16 seconds because I want a second on each pad, right? So we'll resample. We're going to arm it. Let this bad boy run for 16 seconds. Now's a good time to leave a like. You don't have to subscribe because I make a lot of videos and your phone's going to be popping. So. If you want that, go ahead, but you don't have to. I'm on here all the time. All right, 17 seconds. Let's go into a new, let's check this out. You're like, Polly, man, put some drums on that. I'm gonna put some drums right now. We're gonna use these boom baps, and then I'm gonna use a boom bap sequence. Cool, I'm gonna load that. I've explained this many times in different videos. What I'm doing is going back to track one. Boom bap kit. I don't want to hear all the drums, so I'll explode them out. Hit my mutes. Keel. Now I got a kick snare hi-hat. Boom, 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 boom. I hit play. My drums are going to go off. And they're not the best drums in the world, but it's better than what I'm doing. Let's make sure the volume's good on here. Yeah. Boom, back. That's dope. All right, so let's go back and work on track 17 because we exploded our tracks. There were 16 drums. And let's make a new program. And let's do this. And I'm, I'm trying to do this this way. I can do this on a live, guys, because I need to get out of my comfort zone. This is, you know, so repetitious that I, I'm just like, okay, I'm just doing this. But... If I'm on a live, it's a little harder. Where's my sample? Should be a bounce sample. See, that sucks, dude. That sucks. Where's my sample at? Should say new sample, because I just sampled it in front of you guys. And I'm going to stand alone. That's BS. Fucking. All right. So what we're going to do is whoop it in the ass. Sampler. Sample, resample, arm. I hope this is on freaking. It's not. Go back to track one. Menu. Sampler. Blah, blah, blah. Let's do this again. 
let this shit run for 16 seconds this way on each pad you get a second or you can 32 chop and get half a second on each pad working with the SP I've learned that half a second is a lot of time you don't need a lot of time for 16 seconds keep it Y'all probably saw me not keep it on the last one. You're like, yeah, we saw him not keep it. All right, there's a sample, right? Look how little those things. Let's just fix this. A lot of people will go into the function and hit normalize. Over here, normalize. Me, I like to just do the gain change because I can do it by increments. I'm just going to gain it by three. Do it. See, now it's not so loud. It's not all the way big, but it's, it's louder than what it was. Stop it. So let's trim this bad boy. But for this video, let's go ahead and let's fuck it. Let's game change it four more. Boom. That's cool. I can deal with that. So we're on the program. I'm going to tune this up. I think. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna tune it up. I'm going to tune it up. Let's tune it up. <laughs> let's tune it up. And we're going to go into 16 regions, right? I'm not even going to play this. I'm just going to hit shift. And convert this is just a great way to be able to do this right so now we got boom bap playing this and I got my new sample and we're gonna chop it up right now watch I'm just saying that's a good way that I like to get some sample. I had no idea what we was doing. I pitched it up. It seemed to work. But now what's cool, dude, is... I hate saying how cool shit is about this box, dude, but it is. We're going to add some... I don't have any reverbs or anything like that, so they got them in the box, right? So I'm just going to add... This delay analog sync is fire. I love this thing. The quarter delay. You can't fuck with it. So we're going to hit play. I hope you guys like. Leave a like. Like this motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You guys are like, Polly, where's the drum change? Where's all the, where's the changes? It's like, dude, we just made this, all right? So now I gotta go in there. If I like the samples the way they are, I like the way that they're sloppy like that. I don't like to get my, I, I like the way that they're off, all right? I just sound sloppy. My drums are so robotic that I need something to, something off, dude. So my melody's off, but my drums are on there. But <laughs> the melody is swinging, so I like it. I like it. So I will use these 16 chops and like, look. One Mississippi, one Mississippi. It's a second sample. It's a second long. Remember, we did 16 seconds. We sampled for 16 seconds. This is a second long. This is a second long. You got 16 pads. Now you can go into, I can go into the SP with 16 seconds and have 17, 9, 20, 8 drums still because drums are only half a second so you got eight drums in this whole melody so it's just play the same thing on there and I just wish the outs on here sounded crisp um, like right now they're just going straight they're going straight out into a mixer and they sound great you know when you sample something in here it sounds just like it sounds but it, I'm looking for something to add a little bit of warmth and character to my sound and I love this 
freaking NPC. I was going to send, I'm seriously considering thinking of uh, sending off my NPC live to, to um, Black Lion Audio to get that mod. But I might hold out because if they can get it for the keys, because this, this is my weapon of choice. I play keys. Um, I've never had an ASR-10, but every when I first got in here, people were like, oh, this is the ASR-10, blah, 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 blah. I was like, I never heard of the ASR-10. I didn't know. I didn't know. So this is what it is, but I just wish it had a little more muscle behind it is all. And I get tired of the same sounds. Like, I've sampled all of my modules. I've sampled a lot of my modular sounds. You go to 8barbeats.com, 10 bucks, or you just go to one of these Facebook sites that's giving away shit. <laughs> just get it from there. Either way, you're going to be inspired to make music. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a good sound because it came from not... I'm not dissing the software what bit, but I can't redline at all with this. It'll it'll start distorting out and stuff like that. And whenever I hit that analog stuff, I, I, I can live in the red, so I get different texture of sound. But, um, man, if I find a way to modify this thing, I definitely will. I love this keyboard, but um, yeah, I'm always looking for different sound and different different things, man. I really woke up when I saw that SP. It showed me how to look for good sounds. But again, all we did on this video, and if you want to put it together, you could have the intro. Check it. Do it. It's our intro. People are like, well, where's the hook going to be at? Paul, he was like, well, we already made it. We made the intro and the hook. Let's hit this roll twice because it's tight. And I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Sad thing is, is I'm going to make, if it's about money, right, check this out. I've learned this because I always try to find ways, different avenues, right? So check it, check it. If you upload, if I were to upload this song to DistroKid, it would take me almost two years. All right? And a whole lot of listeners to make what I'm going to make in one day doing on here. I'll make like 10 bucks off of this song every day. I mean, that's why I like to put music out on here. I've learned that if I register my music with DistroKid and I put it on here and I want to replay all my music, I can't even replay my music on my YouTube channel because I'll get a strike. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, but we fixed it. Yeah, but I don't get monetized on that video that I was playing my stuff. So I can't even play my own stuff. So I ain't doing that no more. I'll just put it out here like this. Put all this free stuff out here like this and then whenever i put out a record or something like that hopefully people support me but i'm not gonna go that route you know why, why would i put my music out and not be able to play it that is just ridiculous that is ridiculous dude but this came out pretty good and then there's a lot of effects that i can put on here too i could just make another track just copy this whole thing and put the low to where make it put a high pass or whatever the fuck right and you just put it to where it makes the bass and you got a bass track going with this one, or I can just play bass over it. It's just super, super dope, super fun, and I thought I would share that with you guys. I've been dying to make a video. Um, everybody gets discouraged once in a while, but you just got to get up and do it. And I keep telling myself that. So my next video will be a live video. I will not record another video. It's going to be a live video. I want to be able to do this uncomfortably. You know, When you go live, shit hits the fan. It's like playing golf on the video game. But then when you get on the course, you start sweating, and the, the bugs start messing. You see, just crawling around. It, it's, it gets real really fast. So I want to 
I got to get better at that. So I forced myself to get up today and make this video. And uh, I hope that it helped you guys. If you have any questions on what I did, ask me in the comments, man. And I'll call me, hit me up, go to 8barbeats.com. And I got a little comment thing down there. You just hit, you don't have to buy shit. Just go there and comment if you want to get a hold of me. Message on the thing, right on? I'm Polly Popo, man. I love all you guys, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to play this joker one more time, and then I'm heading out. Because it's tight. Can you imagine what it would have sounded like if we would have pitched it down? I mean, here's the original. It's just a good, clean sample. And I could have made it better by separating it going out. I could have played each part that I recorded on a different track, just duplicated the piano and had four pianos playing, it would have came back cleaner. I'm understanding that now. But this joker right here, man, I'm proud of it because we made it together. And without you guys, I wouldn't have done it. I do got to work on my space. I need to work on a lot of stuff. That's still a whole lot more than what I wanted to add in the beginning. I wanted to start off with just the piano, and then I ended up copying tracks and do that's just my my own problem, right? I like to overdo a lot, but. I think it's dope. I love it. I don't I'll see you guys on the next one.